Welcome to Second Take, the show that takes a look at the issues behind the news. The South African Institute of International Affairs, SIA, this week hosted a discussion prior to the Six BRICS Summit, which will be held in Brazil this year. Leandi Culver tells us more. Hi, Leandi. Hi, Tracy. The establishment of the BRICS Development Bank is expected to be a major topic at the upcoming summit. Can you please provide us with some more details about where it's going to be launched, the funding, etc.? Well, yes, basically, it is expected that the BRICS countries will launch this bank next week at the summit. At this stage, um, it sounds like the bank will e either be established in Shanghai, in China, or in New Delhi, in India. So this has not yet been decided. To fund this bank, um, each of the five BRICS countries will be required to put down $10 billion um, yeah, to establish the bank. Now, while this may seem a lot to South, for South Africa to put down, especially given the state of the local economy, it's important to note that only $2 billion of this $10 billion has to be put down in cash up front with the remaining $10 billion only being a pledge. So that makes it a bit less daunting for South Africa to also t take part in this. And when do they expect the new development bank to become operational? Well, Tracy, they did say that while the bank was going to be launched next week, it will be quite a while before it becomes operational. So there's been reports saying that this bank could probably start lending from about 2016. And then in the long longer term, there are also plans to grow the bank's um, capital from $50 billion to $100 billion, which will then assist it to do so much more at a later stage. And how is it, uh, the establishment of the bank expected to benefit BRICS countries? Some people seem to believe that the establishment of this bank is a way that in which the new world order is challenging the G7 countries. However, this is most likely not their main objective. They rather want to institutionalize BRICS. Because the problem is, if BRICS were to simply remain a summit group, as it is at the moment, it could fade away after a while and become irrelevant. And then also, the establishment of this bank will make a lot more of economic funding available, which is always a good thing. And some commentators believe that the establishment of the bank is going to draw other countries to join the BRICS grouping. Yes, that's true. Some commentators have actually said that it is important for BRICS to allow other countries to join, to become relevant. Because at the moment, what you have, you have five countries speaking for all of the emerging world, and that isn't really sustainable. So how people see it happening is that countries could first join the BRICS Development Bank. To do that, they'd be required to also pledge $10 billion, and they have to be accepted by the other countries. So it's quite an easy process to join. So then these other countries would first join the development bank group and then they could always, on the, in the longer term, be integrated into the greater BRICS grouping. Uh, there have also been some rumours of Argentina possibly wanting to join BRICS. However, Christopher Wood from SIA says that he doesn't think this is most likely to happen. He rather sees other countries such as Turkey, Indonesia or Nigeria um, wanting to seek a BRICS membership. And he also believes that these countries will be more suitable. So those will probably be some of the first to try to join BRICS through the, the development bank. Thanks, Leandi. That is the second tech show for this week. Thank you for watching and join us again next time for more news analysis.